Hi, I'm John Rosenfield, and I am Associate Director with Career Services here at Loyola University Chicago, and I'm here today to talk a bit about preparing for career fairs. Uh, career fairs are a really great opportunity not only to uh, potentially secure an internship or job, but also just to learn more about a field that you're interested in, organizations that you might be interested in, um, and just to really practice having those kinds of professional communications, uh, networking skills, if you will, um, to you know really just practice um, being being ready to initiate and maintain those kind of conversations and and to do the the professional follow-up talk about all those pieces as we go through. Um, so one of the first things that I want to talk about is, uh, you know, really what are these fairs like? What are these uh, situations like? Um, and, you know, essentially, as you, you might be able to infer from the photo, um, we're talking about roles of, of folding tables. Uh, when, this is when we're doing these on campus. I realize that now some of these will be remote, but when we're talking about an, a live on campus fair, we're talking about roles of folding tables with reps from each organization. Um, so these are recruiters, they have info, they have uh, handouts and flyers and free stuff on the table. Um, they're generally fairly busy and crowded and, and uh, buzzing with energy. You know, when you get a lot of people in, in the same place talking about things. Um, and, you know, here's the thing, especially at this moment in history, you, you may not have had this kind of experience recently, being in an environment that's this busy, this crowded, this energetic. Um, and so uh, we want to we want to keep that in mind and, and, you know, understanding something about ourselves and how we're going to react to that, especially if you identify as being uh, more introverted. Um, you, we want to take steps to uh, allow ourselves the opportunity to put our best foot forward. I'll say more about that in a little bit. Um, but basically, you want to be ready for the kind of environment that you're going to be stepping into. Okay, so what is going to happen uh, at these fairs? Well, um, so essentially, uh, you are going to meet uh, rep representatives of organizations, and these folks, it could be that they are supervisors, uh, hiring managers who are essentially interviewing on the spot. Um, they could be uh, HR reps who may not have immediate hiring authority and they might not be able to answer all of your questions that you have on the spot. Um, but we want to establish that connection and be patient so that we can find out more and, and possibly create more opportunities or, or find more opportunities down the line. Uh, because of the, uh, the nature of these experiences, they, they may only have a couple minutes to talk to you and there may be other folks around the table jostling for position. and. Again, we just want to be aware that that is the kind of situation that we're walking into. Um, but you know, also on the, on the on the plus side, we really want to understand. We want to know that, that these are folks who are trying to understand your capabilities, your interests, um, and they are motivated to create connections between students and uh, and their organization. So they're looking for those matches. That's what they're there to do. Um, so some preparation that you can be doing in advance, and you know, this starts really with research. Um, so I'm going to click these all into existence real quick. Um, and so, you know, one of the first things that we can be doing is just understanding who is going to be at this fair. And you can log on to the events page on Handshake. Uh, and you can be um, basically finding out from that page, um, you know, who is going to be at the fair that you're planning on. And then you can, you can research those organizations online, the ones that you're particularly interested in. Um, check out their website. Um, check out news and current events that may be uh, online about the organization, looking at reviews from other sources. And so you may find them mentioned in professional blogs or professional organization websites. Um, you may find them uh, reviewed on Glassdoor or Indeed.com, which are sites where people will, uh, will write up reviews of their employers or of places that they've interviewed with. Um, you could find information by uh, uh, by sleuthing around on, in, on, on LinkedIn uh, about who works there and what kinds of job titles and what kinds of experience do those people have. Um, so these are all sources that you can be um, utilizing. You may also think about doing some networking, right? So gathering some intel um, from uh, faculty, from uh, uh, supervisors, from mentors or other colleagues, um, people who know something about the field or the organization and how that organization might play into that field or interact with that field, people who may have a perspective. Um, so we can find out additional information from those kinds of sources as well. If you have questions about how to have those kinds of conversations or how to, how to look for that kind of information, please do connect with us uh, in, in 
career services. Um, there's information on our website about doing those things, but also we're happy to talk through it one-on-one, -on -one, uh, either in drop-ins or in a scheduled appointment. How do I locate that kind of information? I'm happy to talk through it. All right, another thing that you want to want to be preparing ahead of time um, are uh, resumes, uh, having some resumes ready to go. Um, and so in terms of getting ready for a career fair, um, there's a few different ways that you can approach that with our assistance. And so one is to uh, check out um, the uh, resources that are available to you 24 seven on our website. And so um, this is in the resume uh, job search guides area. So there are PDF guides, there are YouTube videos, um, there are sample kits with samples of uh, resumes and cover letters related to different uh, job descriptions. Um, so you can start there and for additional help, again, love to see you in drop-in hours um, for career advising. Um, or you can use your Handshake account to, uh, uh, to request a, a scheduled appointment with a member of our team to talk about your application materials. So um, plenty of ways to get in touch with us uh, and, and we'll be glad to, to assist you in getting those materials ready. You want to have at least a few copies of your resume with you uh, for the fair. I'll say more about that in a little bit. Uh, another piece of preparation that you can be thinking about is uh, having an elevator pitch ready. The metaphor that this idea of an elevator pitch is a metaphor it's just like you know the idea is you get into an elevator in a tall building and you realize you're standing next to somebody who might be able to tell you something useful or, or interesting um, provide some useful or interesting insight and information so you want to have an organized way of introducing yourself and what you're about um, that you've thought about ahead of time to help frame the conversation um, so what you're seeing on the screen are not the magic words but some some basic, you know, Mad Libs that you can fill in um, that, that can be your intro, that can serve as your intro and allow the person that you're talking to to understand sort of the boundaries of what you're about, what you're bringing to the table, what your interests are, and that can help them understand what's going to be most useful to talk to you about. Um, so putting together this pitch is one piece that's going to be helpful to you. Another piece is to actually practice saying it out loud. So um, moving your mouth, making the sounds, actually saying this out loud, um, so you can do this by recording yourself on a phone or computer. If you have someone in your life that, that you can uh, practice this with without cracking up too much, um, that can be a great way to do it. Um, but again, practice saying the words out loud so that you feel ready to go and more confident when you're in that bustling, crowded, um, you know, uh, uh, more, more electric environment. Okay. Um, so yeah, having that elevator pitch ready to go. Another piece you want to think about when you're getting ready for the fair is dressing thoughtfully. Um, so broadly speaking, I mean, we're, we're not interested in micromanaging every piece of clothing on you, um, but, you know, thinking about uh, the purpose that you're there for and the audience that you're presenting yourself to um, and what's going to be helpful for you in terms of the goals that you have for that interaction. Um, so in, in most circumstances, that's going to be either professional attire uh, or business casual. Um, you know, and so when I say either of those things, I'm not talking about what you might put on to go to the club at night, okay? Um, talking about, um, you know, pretty good representative sample in the photo on this slide, okay? So really professional attire, business casual, not nightlife, okay? Um, in terms of carrying your resume and other essentials with you, think about a, a, a plain portfolio or, you know, a very uh, understated shoulder bag or something like this. Um, maybe leave the uh, the neon zebra stripe uh, backpack at home for this one, okay? Um, so again, dressing and accessorizing thoughtfully. Um, some things to consider, you know, that, that you will be uh, wanting to do when you arrive. So you're going to check in, most likely be swiping your, your Loyola ID. Um, you'll be uh, grabbing a, a, a guide, a, a map that we usually on, have on hand showing who's there at the fair and where their tables are located. Um, there's an app that you can use to do this as well if you prefer that kind of engagement. Um, so it can be good to take a minute when you first walk in and you get, you get registered into the fair. Uh, instead of just hitting the tables immediately, you might want to take a second, look at the map, and, and really think about, okay, where, who are the people that I really want to talk to? Where are they located? How do I want to schedule my visit here at the career fair? Um, we generally have an Ask a Career Advisor table at the fairs, and so you 
please feel welcome to stop by. You can take your breather with us there. You can ask us any questions or, or talk about any concerns that you have. Um, so um, please feel free to stop by the Ask a Career Advisor table. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, you know these can be really uh, uh, energy sapping uh, kinds of events. They're bustling. Um, you're, you know, you may feel nervous or, or you know, have a lot of anticipation about who you want to talk to. Um, so pace yourself. Give yourself the opportunity to be, uh, to put your best foot forward. Um, you may want to consider, you know, not hitting the table of the person that you're most excited to talk to first. Maybe you want to give yourself the chance to warm up and have some other conversations and just get loose uh, before you go and talk to the person that you're most interested in. So, um, you know, know something about yourself. Uh, think about how you're going to be engaging with this situation. And then think about what strategies uh, you can use to make yourself as comfortable and effective as possible. And again, we're happy to talk about that uh, here in Career Services um, via drop-ins or via scheduled appointments um, to help you strategize and, and put your best foot forward. Okay. Uh, so in terms of that first impression that we're, we're you know, all these pieces are building towards, uh, we want to smile. This is generally how human beings uh, uh, indicate to each other that they are uh, welcome of e each other's company. So uh, smile, uh, try to maintain eye contact, offer a, a, a firm handshake, or, you know, maybe in this day and age, a, a, a decent fist bump, uh, you know, not too hard, but uh, not too limp. Um, Try to focus on the person, um, not the stuff that's sitting on the table. And, and again, this is where you might want to think about how you tend to engage, especially with people that you don't know. Um, is it difficult to make eye contact? Are you going to want to try to remind yourself um, to look at the person in the eyes and not get caught up in the stuff that they have sitting on the table? Um, but you know, acknowledging their presence is going to indicate to them that you're engaged, that you're really interested. So um, we want to find a way to uh, remind ourselves to do that. Um, if you are a person that wears uh, perfume or cologne or other scented uh, or personal care items, uh, I, I recommend really going very minimal on those items, if at all. Um, you never know the person who you're talking to, how sensitive they might be or what scents they like or don't like. Um, so just really, again, thinking about your audience and how you're presenting to them when you're, when you're getting ready. Um, so you can open your conversation with that elevator pitch. So you've got um, you know, this nice uh, minute or so long way of introducing yourself and framing the conversation. Um, you want to have some strategic questions prepared in advance. Um, so don't just kind of show up and uh, uh, shrug and ask the employer what their company does. That's not the conversation that they're there to have. They're really wanting to have a more intentional uh, personal conversation. Uh, about your career interests. Um, so I'll talk more about that in a second, some options there. Um, we want to close the conversation intentionally by summarizing, um, you know, reinforcing the points of interest for you, uh, expressing your appreciation, uh, and then being ready to follow up uh, with contacts. So collecting any contact information that they have, um, finding out about next steps. Um, so some sample questions or some sample concepts that you can be thinking to uh, formulate some questions uh, when you're talking to these folks or getting ready to talk to these folks. Um, what can I be doing now uh, to prepare for, for work in this field or for your organization? Um, what quality or skills do you tend to look for? What helps set people apart as candidates? Um, you know, asking, hey, based on what I've mentioned about what I'm particularly interested in or some of my skill sets, what do you think would be some particularly relevant opportunities? Um, or things that I should be looking into. Um, if you've seen roles posted, opportunities posted, you may want to ask about those specifically. I mean, if you've seen it recently posted uh, on the company's website, organization's website, uh, go ahead and ask about it. Um, if there's news that you have questions about um, that is not too uh, uh, uncomfortable, you know, good news, not bad news, um, you know, you, you, you might want to broach that with the, the, the organization's rep. Um, but talking about the organization's mission, their services, uh, who they serve, um, you know, just really get, looking to get a better understanding of uh, their organizational culture. These are all kinds of questions that, that would be fair game. Um, but finally, asking about, um, you know, who you should be in touch with and what the next steps are and what those timelines might look like um, so that you have some sense of that information uh, before you leave the table, particularly if you have been talking about a specific 
um, set of internships or, or job opportunities. Okay. Um, so some, some sample thoughts for questions. Um, and finally, we again, we want to be ready to follow up uh, after the fair. And so if you have the contact information available to you, um, you know, sending a, a thank you email would be a, a great step. Um, you know, and basically remixing your elevator uh, pitch at this point in that email, just reminding them, oh, we talked about these things and this is what was particularly important to me and these are some of the things that I bring to the table and why I'm particularly interested in it. Um, and so, uh, you know, again, our website has some online resources that you can use uh, in our uh, resume and job search uh, guide area for creating these kinds of correspondences. Um, Again, if you have particular concerns or questions, we're happy to meet with you in drop-ins or in a scheduled appointment to talk about creating these kinds of communications. Um, but we definitely want to follow up, and this is going to be something that most people will not bother to do. So if you do it, you will really be setting yourself apart. Um, so if you have further questions, uh, uh, I really recommend that you, uh, number one, um, you can be checking out our online resources from the comfort of, of your keyboard. Um, but if you'd really like to talk to a member of our team and, and think through one-on-one, -on -one, hey, you know, here's my situation, here's my interests, here are uh, uh, the things that I know about myself in situations like career fairs or when I think about networking or applying for opportunities, um, we're happy to think through all of that with you. Um, so, you, again, you can find us for drop-in hours uh, or you can get on Handshake through your Handshake account and you can make a, a scheduled appointment with and we'd love to talk to you about that stuff. Um, you don't need to have a specific career direction in mind. We can work with you from wherever you're at, um, but please do get in touch with us. Uh, good luck and have a wonderful career fair. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, bye-bye.